Hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you're doing well hope you enjoy yourself hope you've had you know a good couple of weeks i'm back again with another video and i hope you guys enjoy this one so this is going to be like my house hunting video so i was getting like a, a couple of questions concerning houses in sunderland or what are houses like what is the price how should i prepare and stuff like that and i'll stand this question this kind of information helps you prepare so you know what to expects back from nigeria so you're not here and thinking oh my god why house is so expensive you get what i mean so it helps you plan and lucky for you guys i was house hunting at the time so it was like perfect okay it was like perfect so anyways um i was i've been house hunting for like i would say to be honest this was i didn't house hunt for a very long time to be honest because i was lazy about it it was last minute i wasn't supposed to move out well just last minute i just thought you know what i should move out it was so impromptu. It wasn't something that I needed to do. Like I need to move out or that. But then it was a good decision at the end of the day to move out when I did. So yeah, um, yeah. So that that's how why I said it. I was hunting because I wanted to get a new place and all that. I was going to literally explain some things to you, some terms to you, so that when you watch the video, you understand exactly what it means. And also, I'm going to explain to you, give you some tips and some advice for your house hunting. I've clearly moved. Oh, I did not tell you guys. I've moved. This is not my from my house. <laughs> I think I look similar because my decor, like my best friend and everything, is kind of the same vibe. Um, yeah, it's just my best friend. That's the same thing. This is not my previous apartment that it was my last video. This is another apartment. But anyways, I saw a couple of houses. All these houses are in the city center in Sunderland. All of these houses because I was not trying to move to the house of Sunderland. <laughs> it's not in me because I was already living like. 10 minutes to the city center so going to go and live inside streets and neighborhood was not it's not my it was not my plan so um yeah and being close to the city center means you're like literally close to everything the city center is the city center of each city is the main thing in the city you get so they have all the attractions everything in the city center so i was not about to go and be living inside streets as i are really close to everything everything you need is just like beside you um the bus station the metro everything like the train station you're just close to literally is the art of the city let me just put it that way you get me so anyways i hope you really enjoyed this video keep watching so we're going to start with this um studio apartment um literally is a studio um this is the restroom i liked the restroom because i felt like it was a bit spacious and i just liked it basically i liked the lightning yeah i also liked the towels it was towed all through i like the color of the towels and i'm being honest but my issue with this apartment was that i just felt like it was too stuffy it was too stuffy that's the word um i did not like the cooker he had this grilling oven thing that comes with i think a grilling machine and also a cooker on top if you can see clearly over there I did not like that as well. I like a proper cooker. It also has a washing machine, so I guess that's a plus. But at the same time, I didn't like it. It just wasn't my vibe. I would not go for something like this. I like the full, I like a full cooker. Okay. So that's one reason why I didn't like this place. I felt like it was stuffy. And mind you, I viewed this apartment during the heat wave. So my man, I'm like. I cannot stay in a place that is this small it is actually very small and it's supposed to be a studio but there's no space for a proper living room area do you get so i'll just call this like an nigerian soft corn if i'm being honest and also it's not very spacious and i have a lot of load okay like that space cannot take my load anyway this is like the apartment building like the staircase area that's the door to the apartment and that was fine but i just knew i was going to get it because nah it wasn't for me and i also like didn't like the fact that i was literally on the road nope oh no <laughs> so yeah that's all about this apartment moving on to the second one this is a two bedroom everything about this apartment i loved it ticked all my boxes in short everything i said i wanted in the apartment this apartment ticked it so for me it was perfect i like the kitchen area as you can see is the open plan is the open plan they call these things yes yeah, open plan so as you can see it's very airy it's bright um it's just spacious literally it feels like home 
do you get what i mean i like the view from the living area i didn't like the dining area if i'm being honest but then we can always um work with that i guess um i view this apartment with a couple so <laughs> yeah so this is the first room like i said it's a two bedroom two bath kind of vibe this apartment was very furnished when i mean furnished i mean furnished to the t like you literally need nothing all you need to do is just bring in your load literally like the room web the room the rooms were big i'm not going to lie they are normal uk size rooms and yeah basically that's it it wasn't too big so it wasn't small either it's just like perfect i guess um this is the first restroom for this room it wasn't bad i like it i would i would have preferred in all that i would have preferred if it was all out but that's fine um this is a second bedroom like i said the apartment is very airy and bright it just feels like home do you get what i mean the, he has this second bedroom is literally the same thing with the first one has the same structure the same layout so it's really same thing same old same old nothing too special this is the second restroom for the other room like i said each room here is in suits so yeah i actually like in short like is another statement i actually love this apartment like it ticked all my boxes and yeah literally that's it So this is the third apartment I saw. I like this one as well. It's the same price with the one you saw previously, seven hundred pounds per month, and it's also not bills inclusive. Yes. So this place is open plan. I liked it, but to be honest, I didn't really like the um, decor of the living area. It just seemed a bit dim. The lighting just seemed, seemed a bit dim. And oh, this one is not bills inc inclusive, but it comes with the Wi-Fi. And yeah, so the Wi-Fi is paid for, but other bills like gas electricity you have to pay yourself water bill you have to pay yourself but i actually like the living area here the um the kitchen area here and i also liked the fact that i came with an in-house washing machine the one prior that's the video you saw before this one that one the, he has a washing and dryer but the washing and dryer is on the apartment floor so this is the first room i feel like it's a master bedroom because he has it's big and he also has like a lot of furniture drawers tables and chairs and all that i actually like the furniture here i'm not going to lie i like the restroom but i just felt like it was a bit too stuffy like the space between the bath and um the shower area and the wc was just too tight for me i know my vibe do you get anyways this is going to the second bedroom i also do not like the fact that the bedrooms are like beside each other but anyways um this is a second bedroom it's big as well um it has furniture as well it has drawer a drawer then a wardrobe yeah i feel like it's big enough basically and also yeah i like the fact that the wardrobe had a mirror <laughs> but anyways this is also the restroom like i said each bedroom has is in suit so the each bedroom has its own restroom but anyways yeah basically i actually like this apartment it was spacious and big i feel like it was big like the restroom area uk houses are not very big so yeah i actually liked this one so moving on to the um, other apartment this is a studio i liked the studio talk about space okay this studio had space i love the kitchen area it had all the basic amenities everything you need basically and it's kind of like the living area and then beside it you have the toilet um yeah the bath area is big the restroom is big as well like this studio was just like big it has the word for it okay like it's big it's spacious and houses in the UK are not very big so yeah this one was big and yeah you have the, the um bedroom area yeah you have the bedroom i didn't like the fact that it also did not have a headboard i like headboards okay in my bed so yeah and that's the um table and chair you had an extra chair you had a wardrobe as well where you can keep your clothes and yeah basically like i just liked it because it's big like the space is wide like there's a lot of moving area there's a, there are a lot of places for you to move around and all that and yeah it was just a good like studio will i say it's spacious and it has basically what you would need 
and the basic amenities i also like the kitchen area to be honest you had like enough um space for you to keep your stuff um and yeah basically that's it welcome back i hope you really did enjoy the video so um i'm going to just talk briefly about the bills um i would advise if you are coming newly please get a place that is bills inclusive draw your year get a place that is views inclusive because the cost of living right now in the uk is is off the charts okay is i so views most landlords now that even have apartments that are bills inclusive they're turning it they're telling people that it's no longer bills inclusive what they're saying is you know what we'll just pay your rent sort out your bill yourself because they don't want to take on that responsibility because the prices have gone up some of them are even increasing the rent. Do you get know what I'm saying? So if you get a place that is bills inclusive, please do so. Getting a place that is not bills inclusive right now in the UK, you pay money. You pay money. Yeah, where I am now is not bills inclusive. And it's a decision that I made, knowing fully well the situation of things. Because I've been here for a while and I'm like, okay, it's not bills inclusive. This is what the rent is. I can afford it. Do you get know what I'm saying? But when I came in, I cannot afford the kind of place I am staying right now. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not as if the price difference is huge. It's just that with the fact that this is not bills inclusive, I don't think I'll be able to afford it when I came in. Do you get Because I've stayed here for a while and I can say, okay, I can afford it. I have a job. I may be more set so I can kind of plan myself around it. But if you're coming newly, please get a place that is bills inclusive. I don't care. Just get a place that is bills inclusive because you don't want to take on that body yourself. And gas prices right now are expensive. So when I say bills inclusive i mean it covers for your gas your electricity your water bill and wi-fi okay and also council tax but as a student you are exempt from council tax so all you have to do please also don't take council tax reduction i know this all this council tax i'm talking about may sound foreign to you but as a student you're not supposed to take public funds so if you take a council tax reduction that it is viewed as a public fund so when you want to apply for your post study you might have issues this is a current gist that has been going around across international students don't take council tax reduction if you're currently in the uk and you're watching my video do not take council tax reduction as a student you are exempt from the council tax you should not be paying that council tax don't pay it so they ask you for your council tax whatever whatever go to your school and print out your exemption letter in my school seaside university on our portal you have the letter there print it and send it to them you are not supposed to pay council tax because as a student you are exempt so there are some students that were told to pay council tax and they not to council tax reduction whereas you're not even supposed to be paying it where you could have just told them that according to the law you're not supposed to be paying it but they not took reduction and taking council tax reduction is seen as public funds and your visa even your visa when you open your is clearly written there no public funds it will affect you when you're about to um, apply for post study or whatever. So just avoid. I just had to add it there. I know when you're coming, you all this council tax I'm talking about may seem foreign to you. Just know it because when you come, you will know what it is. Do you understand? So council tax is part of the bills that you pay. Do you understand? But the students, don't bother yourself about it. You're not supposed to pay as a student. Anyway, so it is water, water um, bill your gas your electricity and your wi-fi so ask these questions what does the bill cover some also tell you that they don't cover wi-fi you buy your wi-fi and pay for yourself just ask the necessary questions so you know what you're paying for exactly every month and how much it will cost you also like i said try not to get a place that is not bills inclusive get a place that is bills inclusive inclusive as a new student so those are basically the houses um that i saw I did not have, have songs for a very long time, to be honest, because I told you, like, the idea for this whole process was just, like, impromptu, impromptu, impromptu. So I did not do, like, a very long our songs in process. And honestly, there's not even long process because if you have something and you're not paying, someone else will pay for this houses. Like, houses here go pretty fast. And considering the fact that I was our something during the peak period, which was September, literally, a lot of people come into the country in September. So that's why they have, like, fewer houses. Because everybody, people are coming in to get the houses. So, literally, if you don't get something, if you see something you like and you don't get it, if it's a good accommodation, if you do not get it, like, in a couple of days, someone else is going to get it. Like, that's how it is during peak period. But when it's not peak period, it's a bit like, karma, do you get? So, yeah, if you have any questions, please don't, you know, don't hesitate to 
leave a comment in the comment section and i will reply every one of your questions okay thanks for watching i hope you really did enjoy watching this video if you liked it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave a comment and also subscribe if you are yet to do so anyways thanks for watching i hope to see you in my next one stay blessed bye